Here we are at Pool B, and yet another European surprise at the top of the group as Lightning Pandas finished top six at CWL Vegas with an 18 and 11 map count against PLQ teams. This squad of Europeans featuring Alex, Dave, Madcat, Petey, and Josh went 9-5 in hardpoint, showing a lot of slaying power, a lot of great teamwork, but their weaker game mode was actually control, where they went 3-5. Alex, in hardpoint, dropped a 1.33 KD, and Dave was also dropping a 1.25. So it's interesting to see the emergence of Dave here. In control, the same order held up. However, everyone's KD sort of dropped off by, you know, 0.1 or 0.2. So, Lightning Pandas, really good slaying team, certainly the best team in this pool, although they will be challenged by a former world champion Team Envious squad and will have to win some big games to secure that top two spot, but they're looking pretty good heading into Pool B. Now, in that two seed for Pool B is Team Envious, which only got a top 12 placing at Vegas and a strong 19 and 14 map count against PLQ teams. Their strongest asset was 10 and 4 in hardpoint, where Assault, Hook, Assault and Hook combined for 1.15 KD between the two of them and were really strong in holding down a really solid core. This is the former world champion team of Assault X Sicilian Apathy that also added Hook. In SD, they struggled and went 5 and 6 map count, but their SD is looking to improve as well as they face off against some of this easier competition. I expect nothing less than the world champs to finish top two in this pool, but if they don't, expect some magic from them to really find a way to crawl out and make it to the Pro League anyway. Team Envy really looks like a Pro League team. They look pretty solidified, but maybe they will surprise us. And if they do, it will be losing some clutch S&Ds, some Game 5s is where they'll really slip up. Now looking at G2 Esports. They made two roster changes heading into this event after a 7-9 and nine map count against PLQ teams. Uh, Decimate had a fantastic event, dropping a 1.22 respawn KD and leading the team as well with a 1.1 KD in S&D. Unfortunately, in respawn, all four of his teammates, Ricky, Blast, Vicento, Chino, were below 0.9. So the story of G2 at Vegas was Decimate having a fantastic event, getting no help. So, big roster shakeup for this team. Ricky and Facento are both out and being replaced by Methods and Lacefield. Both of those players should be able to bring a lot of slaying power, a lot of help for Decimate in S&D, potentially from Lacefield, and this team is going to look to have a really strong honeymoon event and possibly upset one of those top two seeds above them and jump right into the Pro League. However, if they do finish third or fourth in this pool and have to go through the bracket, I think this is a really strong team in that double elimination bracket to make it to the Pro League anyway. Heretics KFC is the best Spanish team out there. Uh, they had a strong 14 and 12 map count against Pro League qualifying teams. Uh, they went 3 and 8 in hard point, unfortunately, but they were pretty solid in search and destroy. And they're one of those middle teams. They're really a coin toss. You know, will they have a strong breakout event? Will they be the clear best Spanish team and really push on that Pro League? Or will they just sink to the bottom and get trampled by some other teams in this group and really just have a flat performance? This roster consists of Sucre, Metals, Lucky, Journey, and Methods EU. Now his name is Methods Sick, I believe, but it's fascinating because he will be playing Methods earlier, and that is a matchup to watch because there is some Twitter beef going on about the winner getting to keep the name Methods. So you get to see Methods on Methods action. And S&D, we talked about how strong this team was in S&D. A lot of that has to do with Lucky, who is really an S&D star. Keep your eye on him. He has a 1.3 KD. Tainted Minds, the Australian team, had a 5-7 and seven map count against PLQ teams. They did also make a roster change. They lost Swifty and replaced him with Zeppa. So their roster consists of Nimble, Damage, Swift Azor, Setsy, and Zeppa. They were swept by both Mazer Gaming and Envy at CWL Vegas. So they're going to need to play better if they want to make it to the league. But they have some opportunity to get some revenge on Team Envy and possibly have one of those standout events that we saw at CWL Anaheim last year. The Australians are generally just barely good enough to make the league. Tainted Minds was in uh, Stage 2 of last year's Pro League. So it's going to be interesting to watch if Tainted Minds really sinks and does not show up this weekend or if they just do enough to squeeze into the league as we've seen in years past. 
Fact Revolution at Vegas. They lost in winner's round four of the open bracket to Vertex and then won three series in a row in open losers to get to this stage. And they've actually kept their roster together. Cami, Chain, Defrag, Maple, and Sunny B, who has notably been in the Pro League uh, during Infinite Warfare. Uh, and I believe parts of World War II, but maybe that is incorrect. Uh, they beat Giants, a team that is also in this group, and they lost to Imperial. So certainly an underdog. Nobody's expecting this team to make the league, but it's a solid squad of Europeans that has decided to stick together, and they are someone to watch as they try and take down some of those teams right above them, Heretics, Tainted Minds, and really get into a good place in that bracket. At the bottom of this group is what some would say is the third best Spanish team. Yes, of the 28 teams here, there are three Spanish teams, and Vodafone Giants looks like the team that has the weakest chance of making the Pro League. Uh, they did make a roster change. They picked up Invidian and dropped Legend, and that adds to a roster of Pepo, Inven, Yako, and Tohor. Uh, they lost to both Tainted Minds and Fact Revolution, another team in this group, so they absolutely need to play better if they want to not finish 6th or 7th in this pool and really get and surprise us and make a Pro League. This is one of those bottom teams that would shock everyone if they made the Pro League, so it's an uphill battle for the Vodafone Giants. And looking back at Pool B, Lightning Pan and Team Envy look really solid to finish 1-2 in this pool. However, G2 Esports might really surprise us and come out with a you know shockingly good roster and a really good performance this weekend, in which case Lightning Panda or Team Envy is going to be scrambling and one of them will finish third place. It is, as we mentioned, an uphill battle for those squads like Heretics KFC, Tainted Minds, Really good teams, solid teams that are good enough to make the Pro League, but they just have to show up. And then at the bottom, Fact Revolution, Vodafone Giants, not really anything expected of them. We'll see if they can pull off any upsets this weekend. The two matches coming up this Wednesday to watch, I believe, is Team Envious versus G2 Esports. It's our first look at this G2 Esports team and how good they really are going right up against the world champs. This matchup is huge to determining how serious these teams are, how well they're going to place in this pool. So G2 versus Envy. But also, the Spanish teams are matching up tomorrow as well. We've got Heretics KFC taking on Vodafone Giants in an all-Spanish matchup with a lot of bragging rights on the line. And certainly the loser of that is going to be in trouble for Pool B. So we're going to get to see who the best Spanish team is and what Spanish team really wants to put themselves out there and make a push for that league spot. Thanks for watching this video. Drop a follow on Twitter at mstrite61 and keep up with that Reddit content as well from mstrite61.